Good morning and welcome Dr. Steinbach to our presentation in innovation and concept creation. We will be talk to you about the restaurant in Montreal called Chez Toi. Here is our team, Tala Bomba, and together with me today, besides myself, we also have Rina, Nina, Victor and Justin. Our objective is to have an appropriate approach to innovate concept for Chez Toi. Here you can see our table of contents and Rina will start with the introduction. Uh, well, Chef Qua restaurant is located in the Montreux, Switzerland. They have totally seven diseases and famous for the Vietnamese and Thai food. According to the review on TripAdvisor and other distribution channel, and also the interview with the employee at the restaurant, the overview vibe of the restaurant is friendly and warming, Kova and Buddha. They have great grill, which is weak, even though they are not near the lake. And the food quality is really high and stable at the same time. Their my major minus point is the low pace of service. Based on our objective, our mission will be bring up the family members and the vision will be family always first and the owner always say Chez Toi and Chez Moi and we are thinking it is really suitable of our family concept so we turn it on, <coughs> on our tagline. As you can see, the, their current table setting is like the fine dining and the light not suitable for the concept. Also, the lanterns are actually traditional decoration in Vietnam, but their outdoor lanterns do not have any features. <clears throat> now, after collecting all the information from different channels and the employees inside as well, we create the SWOT analyzer for Shenhua restaurant. We can see that they have a very obvious and clear strength, but they have hidden weakness, which will stop them from long-term uh, business growth, especially when they don't have the signature food or clear concept and strategy for further expand their business. Uh, threats and opportunities are on the same wavelength, where COVID-19 is the most risky situation for now. But if they can take advantage of that, for example, the high demand of their delivery service, then it would benefit them. But on the contrary, if they don't pay enough attention, especially to their suppliers, uh, when most of the ingredients coming from the supermarket was the on the verge of being closing down at any time by the COVID-19 new policy, they would be in great danger. After we interview with the owner, we noticed that they have two direct competitors. One is BN82 and the other is Mai Thai. They both located in Montreal area, which is in the same area as our restaurant. Besides, they both serve Asian food. That means our target market is similar. Here is part of the competitor's work analysis to help us better understand of our competitor. And then, and then based on the four attributes, we put forward corresponding evaluation criteria to measure where our restaurant and other competitors are. The word highlight in pink is the position our restaurant is. Then compare the position of our restaurant with two direct competitors in four attributes. This chart shows the result of the comparison. As you can see, our leading attribute is experience because the score is the highest one and then the product and accessibility are in the same score. But based on the customer review and interview, the customer really enjoy our food and we are really good at it. So we put the product as our second attributes. So why we have to make an innovation? As the customer complained, our service pace was super low. Sometimes they have to wait several hours for their food. Although it's okay for our old loyal customers, but it's easy for us to lose our potential customers because it's not everyone willing to wait that long. So then it will lead to the difficulty to grow even further with our business. And also after communicating with the owners, we realized that he wants to expand the business, but the restaurant doesn't have any concept right now. As Wen Yang and Strongman say, if your restaurants have no concept, but you also want to expand your business, it, it will be very easy for your restaurant to lose the identities in the market. On the other hand, the interview results show that the customers came for the family vibe and also the employee agree with it. What's more, the owner is great in communication. Both of our customers and the employee show that they feel comfortable and enjoy the communication with our owners. So according to the business and our strengths, we think the family wide restaurant is the most suitable concept for us. The next part is customer interview. Because we want to find out how the customer feel about the current concept. Besides, we also want to know the innovation is suitable for them or not. 
With the help of the owner, we collect 36 samples of customer questionnaire. Here is the result of the customer interview. Here, 44% of customers feel normal about the concept of fine dining restaurant. Even 28% of people feel unhappy or even hate it. Besides, 44% of customers love the family concept. The customer love to stay in our restaurant. But for the service style, music, menu design, most of people don't like it. So we want to make more change in this part. And for the deco, half people love it and half of people don't like it. So we want to keep some decor and change some of it, make it more suitable for our concept and the target market. In summary, after collecting the customer data, we have we will try to keep the general setup, but the detail has to be changed, including the menu design, the service style, and the recording ambience. For music, the restaurant is playing the music in the pop list now. Although it is good choice, but the pop list is out of our specific image. So we have to create our own music list. According to the interview results, the traditional pop is most welcome and suitable for us. And we have some important points in this part. First of all, we prefer to play, play the vocal music because as Berlin sings, it can keep our customers in a happier mood. And then for the music one, we will play the music louder to attract and engage the customers but the lower to prevent bothering the customers from communication. And then in the day, we will play some light music to help our customers relax and play the hard music to keep our customers sober at night so that they can stay longer. At the last, we will buy a better equipment and keep it away from our dining areas because as Edwards said, the right equipment at the right positions can help can have the better quality music. The plant. There is no any plants in the current restaurant, but in fact, the shiftable plants can improve the image of the restaurant. As the premier mentioned, uh, simple flowers can attract the customer's attention, something done, and also as Diego suggested, when you add the plants to your restaurant, you are adding the high-end and the pleasurable visuals element and seems the plant of shock noise from around the customers so that they can create a wonderful space for dining. In terms of color, their current color most of red and we want to add some yellow and white to make their more lively. We will use the warm color because according to DeRich 2012, you eat with your eyes first, the highly saturated color promote the appetite and let the people close to each other. Also, based on the black of the Switzerland and Vienna, we will use the highly saturated red, yellow, and white as the dominant color. Then you will dine in restaurant with a more family ambience. Recent research shows that environment cues such as lighting and music strongly bias the eating behavior of dinners. The result in sector that softening the lighting and the music led the people to eat more, to rate the food as more enjoyable, and to spend just as much. So the restaurant will be decorated with the traditional Vietnamese lanterns with the soft light indoor and outdoor. Also, because the owner wants to have a goodish element, we will use the lotus flower on the table. Their current table uh, and the chair is really suitable for our concept, so we will keep it. But on the other hand, we also want to have a lounge area. The factor of the physical environment strongly influences how customer perceives perceived price and this price perfection in turn enhance customer satisfaction level and the direct influence the customer loyalty. Deco and the furniture were the most significant product of price perfection, which is had and real set in 2009. Therefore, we expect the owner to spend more on furniture. We will have some sofa and a straw hat shaped chair, which we will make into a long area so that guests can, that can chat with their family in lounge area where they wait. This picture showed what we hope the indoor environment will look like after renovation, and this one shows what it will look like outdoor.
the, in terms of the menu designing, name of the food and the price will not be changed because of course the customer already get used to that and we didn't identify any major problems. Second is in the Connect Belgium context, according to team in 2011, will make the guests will become even more price sensitive. So raising the price will have a hidden risk, but lower the price will also reduce the pop reputation of the food and the food quality. What we can mention here is that the solid base is really low. Part of the reasons, according to our employees, because there is no signature food and there is a wide variety of choice for them to make up their minds. Even the local customer need 20 minutes to know what exactly they should have inside where after when they have meal. And when they make the choice, uh, 30 persons will order at the same time and create an accessory stress on the kitchen uh, flow. If we want to for mitigate the stress for the kitchens, we need to fasten the ordering process. Uh, we're thinking of cutting down some dish in our regional menu and intentionally guide the guests to order the food that we are feel most confident about by creating special offer for lunch and dinner, for example. According to Maurice in 1996, menu engineering is actually what we need the most for now. So we have to apply the engineering for starter, main course, dessert, and beverage in terms of the profitability and popularity. Cater price up into four types, star, bosom, pro cost, and job. And this is the examples we have for the main course and the dessert. What we can do is that for uh, put on the proposal for the lunch, according to our employees inside, the target customer have the preference to choose a special menu during the lunch. Because of the low price, the fast repair, and they always believe in our quality, the food quality. We can take advantage of this and turn the start and turn the proposal into the start by increasing its popularity. On the other hand, for the dint of promotion, we are thinking of combining the dog dessert with the store, the star main course. The dog dessert is not really popular and it's not profitability, but it is preferred by our loyal customers. So we don't really want to cross out. But we're combining with the star main course, we can cope with the loss of profitability and at the same time make its popularity higher. But this is examples of the special offer for lunch and for dinner, we'll use a truck for, for sustainability purpose. And for the original menu design, we don't want to change anything but just the structure. Uh, according to the eye movement theory, the stars can be put, the star food can be put in on the Z light, and the flow hearts can be in somewhere without the Z light. Uh, the dog, uh, the dog dessert, or the dog called food can be crossed out. And we want to improve their style of service as they have today. And one of the things that the guests give complaints on today is the time it takes to get service and food. So we really want to improve that and together with amplify their family feeling. We need to improve the workflow in the kitchen and also introduce compulsory training for the employees. Our improved service style will be the family style of casual dinner, which is according to Tanyi in 2014, is inspired by the American service style. We will implement an order of service and also put some uniforms on the staff so the guests easily can recognize them when they arrive to the restaurant. And we want to have the family style dining because it increases interaction among the guests and it adds on to the whole life atmosphere. And we have some important points for the service. And as I mentioned, we want to implement a specific, specific order of service. So all employees work through the same pattern. Uh, at first, the waiter should greet the guests by the door and show them to the table or to the waiting lounge. Give them the menu and take the orders for beverage so they can have something to drink while they wait for their food and so on. We want to keep the friendly approach, but work on it even more. So use our guests' names if it's possible and really make sure that we take care of the kids and see them because there's nothing as good for the parents if the waiters see and engage in the kids. Then we want to have training for our employees so everyone knows what to do. And together with this, we need to cooperate between the kitchen and the service and even more and better. The important thing is to always maintain and to always improve the good things in our service. In the online marketing part, as Tim reported in 2020, there are 3.8 billion people using social media platform. But now for the current platform, as the employee mentions, the customers always complain that it is hard for them to find our restaurant online and the online page to be improved. 
So if we want to have a good use of the social media, we have to make our website page more beautiful for attracting the customers in the first step. And then create and post some informations and entertaining contents to engage our customers maybe twice a week. We also want to have some special things at Chef Wang. Uh, for example, we want to have a wishing tree where all our guests can hang their wishes. And this tree can transform into a Christmas tree during the Christmas season. And if you choose to celebrate your birthday with us, we will treat you with a sparkling birthday cupcakes. And to show our appreciation to our customers uh, that uh, orders food delivery, we'll have some personalized thank you notes in the takeaway boxes. And for our most loyal customers, we have our loyalty customer program. To, this to keep up our engaged strategy and hope that our customers will stay for us for many years. Even though we do a lot with this while some limitations on that. First is we have we don't take into consideration the financial forecast and even the time management. Second, we have the limited access to our competitors information and even our customer data reviews. 80% of them is our local customer, so it's made our service survey become next objective. Third, the supplier research to the restaurant is really important, especially for now, all the ingredients they have is from the supermarket, which is not a long-term and stable supplier. And in the context of COVID-19, the suppliers continue taking this stock at any time. So the social media should be studied more carefully in terms of technology. Even the OP home we try to look the information of the restaurant through the social media. And for now, they are not doing a good job on promoting themselves. In the future operating, we need to have a focused KPI to measure their assessment when implementing the strategy. At last, we will not take into consideration of human resource. They are letting employees to even do the basic job as the hotels or service. We need to renovate carefully with more human capital than that. In conclusion, after learning about the restaurant, we try to create an analysis for the current situation of the restaurant and even the competitors. Then come up with a suggested concept and theme and try to confirm that theme with our customer through the interview. And we have some details for the innovations, realizing that our limitation will help us to give the direction for the future research. Thank you so much for listening, Dr. Steinbach. Here you can also see our references. And in the end, we have our appendix with an evaluated spot and also our bio persona. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.